Hey, I'm Georgia. In the last month, 4,000 of you have watched my videos, which is super cool for a teeny, teeny little channel like me. I think the month before that, there was like maybe almost 200, which also felt really exciting. Anyway, there's so many of you now and lots of you have subscribed, which makes me feel like I have a whole bunch of new friends that I haven't actually met yet. So I thought it would be really cool to introduce myself properly. Here I am. And also to maybe do a project together. So if you'll come on a little journey with me, this is one of what I call my adventure shirts. It is currently doing this outside and it does that for a lot of the year. So I end up wearing a lot of wool. I work outside a lot of the time as part of my job. And after a season or two, these shirts start wearing out pretty quickly. So I thought I'd try out a bunch of different visible mending techniques and kind of use it as my learning piece. And since it's a work shirt, it wouldn't matter too much what it ended up looking like or if they worked or didn't work or I liked them or didn't like them. So I'm going to show you what I've done so far. I started getting all these little tiny pinholes in it. And I just took some polyester thread and stitched over them until they were gone. So they're sort of like polka dots, kind of like speckles. After that, I moved on. This one started to run in like three or four different places as well as fray. And I just wanted to stop the run from happening, which I was partially successful with. See, this middle one is still going, but the others stopped. And I just did some like really messy, weak cross stitch through here. Uh, looks like we've got another new hole there that I will have to do something else with. Then I saw some Sashiko stitching on Pinterest and I was like, oh, I should totally try that. I had some wool pants that I had to take in and I had this tiny little square of 100% wool fabric, which I thought might work well. So I took some polyester thread and I just made little tiny straight stitches all over this wool fabric in the underarm of the shirt where it was wearing really thin. I like it, but this, the dress pant fabric's a, quite a bit bulkier than the merino wool, so you can really feel it. But when I'm wearing it, I don't notice it much. This hole here on the sleeve, I thought it'd be really cool if it was like a peekaboo hole and you could see a different colored fabric behind it. So I used this like really light lining from a windbreaker that was sort of a netting. So there are like little tiny holes in the fabric. Uh, I cleaned up the hole and then I just did a whip stitch around the outskirts of it as well as down the part that was running just to make sure that it didn't keep running and so you could actually see the fabric and I attached the fabric on the back. It reminds me a little bit of a foot. This one down at the bottom of the sleeve uh, and as you can see there's a new run and some more holes I need to deal with there. This just sort of happened just by by accident. I think I pulled a stitch or two too tight here because I wasn't paying attention and then I just liked the look of it. It reminded me of a ribbon or a Christmas vase or something. So I went with it and I pulled all the stitches too tight through there and it puckered the fabric really nicely. This seam down here is part of the original piece. It was a moth-eaten merino wool headband that I had retrieved from somewhere and I didn't feel like fixing it up but it has been really useful. So I just left the seam because I kind of like the look of it. This I believe was the very first mend I did on this shirt. And it's worked in the sense that it's kept the hole inside the square. Uh, I did one of those, like, I use them a lot for socks. Or you see them with jeans, like loom um, weaving when you're mending. But I did it with polyester sewing thread, which was difficult. And the funny part is it just kind of whoop, whoop, whoop. You could see my weaving doesn't, doesn't quite... It looks super professional, but I, I like the artisticness of the swirl. And then I thought I'd try a satin stitch. So I did a little chain stitch around the edge just to make a heart and then did a satin stitch with green polyester thread to fill it in. And down at the bottom, I had some more of those little pinholes and tiny snags. So I just made some little trees as I wanted it to be forest themed. These are just long running stitches with little tiny stitches that I hooked from the bottom and yanked the running stitch down. 
All these men's were really fun and I love trying out new techniques. My favorite ones so far have been these two up at the top. I think they've worked the most effectively and I think a lot of that has to do with the materials I used. The other ones, sometimes the thread on the outside is like pulling the fabric because of the tension or the toughness of it and making a new hole. But this is just really nice. It seems to have worked really well. There's no new holes. I used that merino wool fabric again. So the fabric is the same as the original and it's probably about the same age too, which I think makes a difference. And the thread I used here is silk. It's so soft and light. You can hardly feel it when you run your finger over it. And even though there's so many stitches on the back, like that doesn't bother me on my shoulder at all, even if I have a backpack on. This one I did more of a spiral with my straight stitches, which I really like the look of. But as you can see, it's rolling and fraying, which may be an issue eventually. So I like the whip stitch part, but this is really artistic looking and fun. Okay, so here's my idea for our project together. Last time I wore this shirt, I was paddling for about a week and I wore it underneath my dry suit and the zipper across the front totally chewed up the front. So my question for you is, how should I mend this hole or rather one giant hole from the zipper? I love ideas from those of you who do visible mending all the time, as well as those of you who are maybe a little more like me and are super creative and just have an idea and are like, that looks like X, try that. Um, I'm gonna pick one of the ideas and then I'll make a video and show you how it turned out.